Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's spend the evening together and discuss another topic, another subject topic that I couldn't believe came through. <sighs> My media feed, honey. Some of the fam was telling me about this Hollywood lifestyle that this person is trying to continue to keep. And these U Street, these YouTube streets are at a blaze because of this one person. It's unreal, unheard of. I was like, oh my goodness. This is just too much, too much, too much, too much. Don't understand it. Really don't. But it's a hot mess. So I'm going to tell you about it. I was trying to shout out someone who actually told me about this uh, particular topic. Uh, I want to say her name is Carolyn. But I'm not sure. But this particular celebrity, she lives in Atlanta. She's from Athens, Georgia. Am I getting y'all hot? Y'all know who I'm talking about by now. And she is supposed to be on the College Hill. Can't believe it, y'all. Can't believe it. Wouldn't want to believe it until I actually saw the footage on Bossup.com and the Jasmine Brand. Excellent YouTube blogger. Go over there and check out her commentary. She's always releasing stories out the stories out the stories, child. And half won't be a hot mess, but she be bringing it to us. Large and in charge. But that dog, I can't. Either her name is Carolyn or Karen. I can't remember. But she told me that she heard that Nene was going to be on this show that is really geared to uh, young adults or children graduating from high school going into college, honey. It was a college type premise show where they would show people coming from every walks of life from different states going into their college years for the first time and adjusting uh to college life from being at home with their parents shy yes you are so nasty and you are so rude and that is why you are not prevailing out here in these streets and you too oh how they used to say oh, you can't teach an old dog new tricks nini is the epitome of that she refused to be taught anything different because of her pride she can't learn from the old heads and she can't learn from the new heads. If it ain't something she put out, she ain't listening to it. And I'm pretty sure she gave her deceased husband a run around the mill with that logic that she's continuing to be a part of. But, now watch, I'm going to find it when I exit this video. But I just have to find it in shout her out on another video for letting me know because they always my fam good to me my fam on my youtube channel are good they chastise me in a nice way when i don't did something they correct me and they help me when i have forgotten something and i ask them to give me the answer to what i'm talking about men and women they are a blessing on my channel because i try to pride myself on not being uh biased towards anybody i'm talking about either you're doing foul shit or you're not doing foul shit i know how to come and congratulate you I ain't that prideful but when you're doing messed up shit that makes me look bad as a black woman and you a black woman trying to do the darn thing but you acting all crazy i got to come for you i got to tell you straight up and fly right we got too many stereotypical uh, dialogues on black women already saying we're hard to deal with we um 
you know, think we this, we that, and we loud and all that. We got already deal with that. So when we got people on great platforms to show and do, we need them to be showing and proving, not showing their asses. Hell, we can do that all day long, and we ain't even got to be on TV. But, yes, we got to talk about this foolishness, this show that's geared for uh, college students and their freshmen and, uh, what's, what do you call it, their freshman and sophomore year type of uh, environment. Got Nene on that show and a lot of other, uh, well, three more other cast members, I believe. And that's them. Um, Big Freedom, Lamar Odom, Ray J, and, and uh, Dream Doll. I think that's her name. Yes, honey. I'm like, Nene has hit rock bottom. Rock bottom. And I'm like, Terry pa uh, Tyler Perry, you couldn't go talk to Tyler Perry about giving you a job. But, of course, you would need to know how to be a true actress, meaning you have to learn your lines and be ready to recite them. And you refuse to do it. So he can't deal with you. Can't fuck with you. Because all his material, you got to learn it. You got to learn it. And you got to be able to recite it when it's your time to uh, speak on the film that he's producing. You got to learn how to recite your lines, Nina. You should learn that in high school if you were doing plays in a part of the theater but you probably was hanging out with the jobs uh and and doing your own thing didn't notice you wanted to be in television along uh, along the road of your navigating your life to come okay but everything is not reality tv we still like the scripted shows and if you can't get with it then they're gonna just bounce right on by you now i can see ray j i can see ray j up in there all day and um, we could see who Nene likes to get down with as well. We ain't going to say his name. Uh, he's not relevant at this time, but it is what it is. He was one of our presidents, okay? So, Ray J still has his youthful look. Um, and college is really not a big deal anymore. Cause, and it probably has never been a big deal. It just was something to keep, I feel, minorities out of good paying jobs. Okay, who set the rules? I don't know, but it damn sure wasn't no black person. Okay, but jobs nowadays they want you to have a associate's degree, but really that that's a high school diploma now. But they want you to have a bachelor or a master's degree for mediocre jobs that you don't have to have it for, because they're gonna train you to do how they want you to do the job. But it's almost like keeping certain people out of positions. Okay. So, that's where the college life had to come into, getting that education. And if you were privy to be staying on campus and living that campus life, hooray and good cheers and good fortune to you. But sometimes, we have students go up there in their freshman year and flunk the hell out because they are into the party life, uh, the single life. Uh, no one's there to pretty much tell them to get their behinds up and go to class, you know. And they end up flunking out parents bring them home let them stay going to a college or in their state to prove show and prove that they can handle living on campus so they kind of take them out bring them back either they let them stay out for a whole year and try them again that following year or they make them come out of school where they don't send them out of state bring them back in state let them go to a local college in their area and let them show and prove they they are grown up they are mature enough to be out on their own and that does happen and then you got Big Frida. You know, she's the bounce person. Uh, the New Orleans uh, rapper. Um, and and you pr pretty much, if you've been living on a rock, uh, living under a rock, you wouldn't know who Big Frida is. But you, if you haven't been living on a rock, you know who she is. And she gets a lot of things. Uh, uh, she does a lot of things. Uh, in New Orleans and she happens to actually work for or work with I should say in collaboration of some sort with Beyonce I don't know if they actually met each other or what not but I'm pretty sure they did maybe not right then when they were trying to cut that single uh, Beyonce had her ad lib on it uh, I forgot what it was but uh, it was a hit uh, in the music industry world and we do know Lamar Odom passed uh, in a um, what do you call it NBA 
a player for the Lakers. Uh, basically trying to have a relationship with Khloe Kardashian didn't didn't work out. Failed miserably. He got on drugs and other stuff and ruined his career with the Lakers. But he's trying to bounce back. Uh, and he's definitely been in um other little in the industry type work he's been getting into. He was just recently on Celebrity Big Brother. And, you know, he, he just acted a fool on that show. He really wasn't taking it serious. He could care less, but it gave him exposure to bring him back out. Uh, child, it was just a hot mess. Hot, the, the whole Big Brother was a hot mess. And they had Cynthia up there, too. And she wasn't bringing nothing to the, the, the uh, forum as well. We didn't expect her to. But, you know, we do try to keep high hopes on that shit. But it, it went on past the wayside. But, yeah, this is pretty much a hot, hot mess. Nene has found herself in uh, cahoots with. But I guess the money is drying up and she needs other streams of income. But it kind of puts her at a disadvantage because she's damn near my age. Now, if you're going to college for the first time and, you know... Um, you just wanted to do it and you never got a chance to do it that's one thing but Nene ain't tried to go to college she ain't tried to put her children through college okay or express they should go to college and get uh that formal education so they can be a well-rounded individual not just street smart but book smart you know have both avenues to travel down so you can navigate navigate freely and understand the rules and the regulations on how to live your life and plan for it and uh and um make good decisions is what i'm trying to say but child she don't call herself taking the opportunity to be on college hill i mean on uh, not college hill well yeah college hill where there the premise of the show is something to the, the fact where um uh, these you don't got old enough and uh Maybe like she, like I said, in her elderly years, she always probably wanted to go to college, but didn't get a chance to go to college. So now they're gonna have this college experience. Uh, her and her fellow cla uh, castmates. Now, like I said, Ray J can fit right in now, cause he looked like he had an age. He can go back to high school, depending on how he dress up or dress down. Uh, Dream Doll, she looks like she could be there as well. Frida, we would want her there just to get the parties jumping and, you know, the college parties and the step parties and all that. Just have her there as a groom, uh, a grooming tool of good music or what the kids are wanting to hear uh, right now. And Cash Doll, like I said, she could be a good entity in that as well. And Ray J fits right on in there. But the odd couple that has nothing to do with rap, uh, good music being very light well i guess uh, lamar odom can be light far as the uh, athletic part uh pro probably trying to mentor uh the college boys and the playing ball and what to look out for what to stay away from and this that and the third and probably try to teach some moves to them as well but nene she has none of the flavor of being there unless she wanted to be a den mother you know what i'm saying like uh a person there to watch over the kids so they don't do nothing crazy and stupid and violate themselves where they have to be sent home or sent to prison okay but nene ain't never really tried to participate in anything black believe it or not she always wanted to be in a diverse show or all white cast show because she really wants to float that way and we see her we we see her because even when she got up there on celebrity celebrity apprentice she thought she was up good uh in good hands and good standings with trump at the time and we were looking at her like girl are you serious are you crazy are you serious but she damn sure was serious because she came back with the big head. Talking about she was on this show. Da 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 She cashing Trump checks. And you know that's going to be a big ass check. She's a rich bitch. Now look at her now. She's a thirst bucket bitch right now. Alright. A thirst bucket. She's really thirsty. Because anybody that knows anything about the entertainment business. When you don't got this low. Where you're doing something. 
on a show that's really geared to young teenagers, but no, but young adults. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, young adults <laughs> going into college for the first time. You don't hit rock bottom, okay? It's not like you're the uh, the dean or somebody playing a role, but then that will make you have to learn lies. And Nene have been running from that. I don't know if she just can't uh, at her age or her uh, developmental um, memory is, you know, dissolving or something. Not saying she's trying to get dementia, but once you get up in age, you really start losing a lot of uh, pertinent information. You have to really think about shit. That's what you're trying to spare words and things of that nature that you were damn good at, such as myself. Uh, you have to think about that shit sometimes. Like, damn, that ain't spelled right. Well, is that how it go? And then, you you know, me, I'm going to ask. <laughs> so I asked my daughter, can you spell I spelled it right? You know, just double checking myself. But, uh, because I'm that kind of person. I'm not prideful. And when I need help, I ask for help. I don't care how little it seems or how a lot it seems. If I need it, I need it. I'm not going to play or fake it till I make it. No, because sometimes you get fake it till you make it. You get in a bigger shit than you uh, had started off with. I'm just saying. From experience, now I know. I know. Okay? So sometimes you just got to educate yourself and, 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 and let it be for that. But anyway, um, yeah. Nene has definitely hit a new low. And she must definitely need the money because I just couldn't see her doing something such as this and then <laughs> peter is probably laughing at her and taking her ass to the bank or no his friend that he told her to be with naomi or noni or whatever he know he gonna take her to the bank and that was just piss poor ain't no way in the hell i would have took his advice on him referring me a man okay and that man don't look like he like nene i've seen plenty of pictures that show his body language and it don't show love and compassion and he want to be with her just don't um the optics look pretty bad let me just say that but we're gonna go on to this article that bossup uh used and you can also like i said go to jasmine Moran. she has definitely done a good job on bringing the mess to us okay but um we chose Basel for this one uh no shade to her or anything of that nature but i like to use a lot of different resources okay but they titled it um homecoming or mess hot mess college here reboots cast nene leaks lamar odom ray j dream doll and big freedom okay did they understand the assignment Last year, Bossett reported that a college year reboot is on the way, and now we finally have a lineup for the classic reality show's return. Instead of the original formula of following real college kids through the ups and downs and throwdowns of life at a historical black colleges and universities, the reboot will follow celebrities who never attended or completed their college education. Okay? Um... And they got some stuff from uh, the Jasmine brand as well. Um, and she reported that right now they are in the works of actually filming. Um, they say, and we're told that filming is currently underway. And a non-scripted show will follow celebrities that didn't attend or finish college. Sources tell us that the following celebs have allegedly been cast. Okay. So it may not be a true thing because we had an allegedly story on Nene and um, New York being a part of the Big Brother celebrity. But that didn't pan out. Um, so <laughs> we just have to wait and see. But right now Nene is a part of that cast. Um, and the insiders tell us that the show is being filmed at Texas Southern University. Okay, if you want to find out the full story, you can continue to let me read it to you from Bossop, or you can go over there to the jasminebrand.com. Okay, according to the Jasmine Brand, uh, the upcoming season will feature Real Housewives of Atlanta, Royalty, uh, Nene Leakes, former NBA, uh, Lamar Odom, 
and Love and Hip Hop stars Ray J and Dream Doll and the Queen Diva of New Orleans Bounce Music, Big Frida. While these reality TV veterans may not be able to deliver the college age antics that made College Hill so iconic, their larger than life personalities are a recipe for more iconic memes and moments. Um, the previous reboot rumors expected the show to film at Jackson State University where Deion Sanders became head football coach of his alumni um, alma mater in 2020. The two-time Super Bowl champion revealed that his fiancee Tracy Edmonds, who was a producing powerhouse behind College Hill during its original run, original run from 2004 to 2009 would bring celebrities to the Mississippi campus. However, the Jackson Brand reports that the new season is currently being filmed at Texas Southern University. Does this mean we can expect a cameo from one of the TSU's most illustrious recent alumni, Meg the Stallion? The cast has already been spotted on campus with Slim Thug and India Love in the mix as well. Okay, so we will be looking forward to seeing that. But a lot of people on uh, Twitter is like <laughs> they drilling the hell out of Nene, and they're uh, really going in on Ray J as well. One uh, person said, "Why the hell Ray J playing a college student at my university?" <laughs> but college hill. Ooh, and then somebody else said college hill none of them are in college or on a hill that was funny okay so yeah what do y'all think about that and one person said nene baby pictures are in black and white see they already clown her thinking she came from the historical age where color wasn't in at that time and it was just black and white uh photos Oh, Lord, and her yearbook. But that is a hot mess, okay? That's really, to me, in my playbook, that's hitting rock bottom. And then you can change all of this. She don't have to be uh, known as an outcast. She just need to tone herself down on social media. Hell, get off social media for a while unless she's going to be saying nice stuff. But when you constantly are out there putting out negativity on yourself and... Uh, you and the person you just went to blast them out saying they're doing all this negativity to you and you're blaming them solely you ain't having no thoughts about your actions prior to them feeling a certain way and not letting you in the door of Hollywood anymore you gotta understand what you did how you did it how you played it when it was in your court you wasn't playing behind the scenes and keeping things out of the public eye you were exploring it. You were using your social media to get us as fans or fanatics or followers or viewers of your content whenever you're on a show thinking we were going to make the difference. When we can't make and break these people unless we were really going to boycott them in unison. Just us being a woman and trying to support you. Believing everything that you said was kosher and that they actually did that to you. But... You went, oh, you went a little bit too hard. And it really wasn't credible because if you're saying they were being discriminatory against people of color, well, you still had Ken, I mean, Candy up there still making money. You still had Kenya up there making money. You had Cynthia. And the list goes on and on. So I'm kind of just feeling like, is it just one thing they wouldn't give you? You acted up. Now you're trying to expose them. No, nah, Nene, that's not how it go. That don't, that's not how it go on real jobs, for professional jobs, everyday jobs that, that everyday people go to every day. You can't, you know, start some shit and then hide your hands when shit start crumbling, crumbling down. You got to look at what you put in there as far as negativity that make them look at you a different way and decided not to follow you anymore or not to endorse you with new projects or pay you what you think you're worth. Because reality TV was once a thing when it first came out. And they didn't know how to pay people. You know, they just wanted to get it started. See where it would go. If it was fruitful, then changes could be made down the road. And that's why they paid you all accordingly. Or they felt that since the ratings were geared around your antics on the show. When Real Housewives of Atlanta came on. Showing you nothing but a bully. 
and a person that wanted to get somebody straight out in the public eye instead of doing it some of it behind the scenes and making a true storyline but you know you was just always in a fuss fight with everybody and your main nemesis was Kim and you would come back next season and make up with her and then start around fussing with her again you know and I'm like it was just too much too little too late and you kept that formula thinking it was going to continue to work for you season after season after season and you still demand all this money when you're not really learning no lines you're not giving them more than what they anticipated for you weren't marketing yourself well because you were not honing your craft you weren't honing and and you know learning new skills now Kenya she knows how to get into uh, sitcom shows and that's to me I mean tomorrow Tia Mari and you know she played on sister sister she played on the game she played on a lot of little shows and she actually played on that new show that's on Netflix or somewhere I forgot what it was and Kenya was a guest host on there still doing her thing still trying to learn her lines and producing good fruit for good stock for later on when she needs it and she needs to refer back to it okay I'm talking about cha-ching okay savings account is booming and when she needs it to start other projects she has it and it's not no um what you call it shade off her back or you know it's gonna put her in a financial situation not like you where you had to downsize real quick fast in a hurry and then you still made another a badass move and I ain't talking about good move. I'm talking about negative. Where you went about a, a, a apartment. It's in a secure building. Like you living in New York somewhere. When you could have bought you a piece of land. Built you, you know, a four or five bedroom house on it. And you just lived accordingly. Okay. And the shit would have been paid for. But you still, you're balling backwards as usual. Or you're balling backwards. And Tyler Perry, you were up there with all those A-lister actors. And you just took it for granted. And actresses. You were up there with Angela Bassett. And you know she has good favor with Tyler Perry. The money that you could have been making. But you felt like you were above those people or right on their level and they were just sitting there laughing at you behind your back once you left the scene and just knew they knew you were not going to be part of their uh group you were just somebody that was loud mouth that you entertained them and they threw you back to atlanta okay you went in hollywood thinking you were going to make it big be this big ass star you want to come back and tell real housewives of Atlanta, yeah i can still work with y'all but this is going to be my new pay that i desire that i feel i deserve and they looked at you like you were crazy okay and they may gave you half of that or near that but then you didn't do anything but just create more unnecessary drama and you start attacking um film crews and production people you didn't let it stay just with the women, your castmates. You just went way all willy-nilly with everything, doing everything for the negative. And they like, I'm tired of you. You're going to cause us lawsuits and shit. So we finna, we can get rid of you. We're going to start cutting some salaries because you're not showing and proving. You're just complaining. Don't want to tape when it's time to tape. You don't like the scene. You ain't going to finish it and this, that, and the third. No, that's not how it works. Not when somebody's employing you to do a particular job that they don't pay you for. Girl, get with it. All right? So you can't come back to the real work. I guess I guess you just will fall all out, out, fall all out on the floor. Okay? But you're sitting here with these young people that can be your children, pretty much. Besides, uh, well, I don't know, Big Frida, she, she might be younger, too. But, you know, I didn't check the age group. But I think you're the oldest one there. So they look at to you like a mama or a mother figure. So why are you there? <laughs> uh, Nene, why are you there, girl? But I guess you need the money real bad. And... I guess you're going to make us believe they're paying you top dollar. Well, we know differently. Those who have eyes to see and ears to hear and are well-rounded thinkers, we know what time it is. But, Nene, you still can prove us all wrong. You can make a comeback. But you're going to definitely have to change that nasty, funky-ass attitude and stop coming with the foolishness, the fakery, the fraudulently fuckery attitude as well and demeanor we don't need that from you we need you to show and prove 
be humble and i stress the word be humble don't go knocking at doors that are closed to you and never going to open back up to you at least not in this lifetime okay baby girl stop harassing bravo true entertainment andy cohen and any likes of it stop putting people uh up there trying to get uh bravo to listen to your pleas because it's falling on deaf ears go to zeus network baby okay if you don't want to do what you know you need to do which is learn lies and then really be a part of the television world you need to go somewhere where they just strictly do reality bullshit and you're going to be paid pennies on a dollar because you were on a very good platform that solidified and made who you are today. Which, you know, that could be looked at as a bad thing. It could be looked at as a good thing depending on how you want to look at it. Okay. And the perspective you're trying to gather from all of this mess. But no, they found you from the streets and they tossed you back to the streets when you thought you were the creator of the show. That you put all of your money and invested in it up front. Got the talent. Produced it year after year. Season after season. You weren't that person. You weren't sitting at that table. Nene making those decisions. This money came from higher up. And yes you definitely played your part. When you were in the seasons that you were in. But your season is gone now. The sun has uh, set on that part of your life so do better do more as far as uh making yourself and your talents viable so you can pitch it to somebody but go on over to zeus network baby that's your best option or i guess look for has been shows like um the one that you're finna partake of allegedly okay because we thought you would be a part of celebrity big brother that didn't pan out for you so everything is really alleged with where and how and who is going to deal with you because their show are looking at your past how you handle yourself in your present and the future don't look good i'm just saying the future don't look good but that's all I have for this video, guys. Like it, love it, gotta have more. Don't forget to put down those comments. And let's keep the dialogue going. And I will see y'all next video. Alright, bye-bye.